for the seventh time in a year. The fiery power of this volcano in Iceland on full display. The eruption, which began Wednesday, spewing lava that has consumed and collapsed roads, creeping closer to civilization. Molten rock gushing through Grindavik, about an hour's drive from the capital city of Reykjavik. Authorities set up barriers to divert the streams of lava away from the town. Smoke billowing relentlessly in these alarming images seen on land and from the air. As the hours drag on, the lava consuming two miles, forcing about 50 evacuations. The escalation of the eruption catching some travelers off guard. I know volcano about to be exciting for you, but please remain seated with your seatbelt security faster. Tourists at the famous Blue Lagoon were alerted by sirens for another eruption back in March, piercing through the darkness. Now two hotels there evacuated as the lava closed in. Crews racing to repair damage in the luxury geothermal spa's parking lot. The volcano had been dormant for 800 years until geological systems reactivated it in 2021. Experts say this eruption was expected based on the building pressure, but what they didn't expect was how quickly it came. This eruption has very little warning in terms of seismicity. Prior to some of the others, we've seen a longer period of slight increase in background seismicity. For some residents, the eruption left them in the dark, without electricity and in some cases without heat. The electricity supply has been destroyed because of the heat from the lava has simply melted or affected the lines. For many who evacuated months ago, along with the latest wave this week, questions remain about the status of their homes. When do we go back? Can we go back? Will we ever go back? Based on how past eruptions have played out, scientists say this one is expected to subside in just a few days and say it's actually measuring smaller than the last eruption that took place in August. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.